D to D N Y. Real World HVAC Simplified. And this is part two in this video. Uh, Mr. Bishi said the multi MN converter or service tool, how to connect to the system. So I'm gonna show you how to turn on the indoor units using your computer. And if you hadn't seen the, the first video, how to get here, how to see this on your screen, right? Here's a system refrigeration piping and diagram. Everything is currently off here. So if you want to know how to get here, watch the other video. I'm gonna leave a link in the description, right? Mr. Bishi service tool, how to get in, how to use, how to, log, how to connect to the system, how to connect and see and get here, right? If you want to get to this where I'm at, go see that video. So let's go to, uh, I want to turn on all my indoor units, right? Because you can see right now, here are my indoor units and they're currently off. Let me scroll my screen down a bit. Okay, oh, freezing up here. All right, so you can see that this is on, these are all my indoor units. I got one, two, 10, 10 of them connected to my system. And they're all, they're in eating mode, but they're all stopped, right? I don't know why they're stopped. Uh, what's the space temperature? Oh, we got seven to four. Okay, they're, okay, they're, they're nice and toasty in there. That's the re okay, well, this one is cold. These two are cold. 50, 58 degrees in the space. But uh, the other ones are, this is your return thermistor from the indoor units. So yeah, they're pretty nice and cold, warm. While oh, I'm freezing up here in the roof. <laughs> All right, so as you know what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna turn on uh, these two right here just to get these condenser started. You can see how to do it, right? You can see how to do it. This is a how to video and how to, uh, this is for pros by the way, and beginners. All right, not for do it yourselfers. Okay, come on, my finger is in the mouse. So, okay, you click on drive operation and you're gonna hit that IC okay so it's coming up all right so there it is okay so I'm going to change to number these address right here nine and ten those are the ones that's cold so I'm gonna go uh, you can here you could do select all if you want to just do all of them all the indoor units but because you know i see that they are literally off for a reason because they are nice and toasty in there i'm just going to do the two that's cold which is uh unit nine and ten so i'm going to change this address change click on that and i'm going to lower it to number 10. <laughs> so it's a 12 so i'm going to change that to zero okay actually let's do 10. Okay, I oh, know, nine, so it's a 10, right? It's number 10, is it okay? Okay, so it's gonna change to that number 10, it's gonna connect, connect to number 10 and show you number 10 status or what it's, whatever it's currently set at. So it's stopped, as we saw on the previous list. So I'm gonna go to operation and I'm gonna go mode, heat, it's already good. And I'm gonna raise this set point to, you know, like full heat. All right, and I'm gonna set the fan. The fan is at high, uh, fine. Actually, I don't believe I'm gonna put it on low speed. Okay, down here, I won't touch this valve. This is for troubleshooting purposes, like the LEV. So I'm gonna leave that where it's at, and it's gonna hit transmit. Oh, right away. Do you hear those clicks? The machine is alive. right away right came to life and let's go back let's close that out